Hello guys, it's me again. I'm back here with another video for the Redmi Note 3. So guys, today it's going to be a different sort of video. Today it is Note and Rome review. Today it is going to be an tutorial how to install the install the MIUI Rome 10, which is based on the Oreo ported for the Redmi Note 3 from the Mi Max. I will be giving you the instructions and showing you how to install that ROM on the Redmi Note 3. It has a sort of different installation so I just thought about making an installation video about that also. And there are a couple of things that I had to say before we start. First thing is the ROM is completely based on the Alpha so I can't know. Currently I haven't tested the ROM yet so I don't know I, can I recommend it as a daily driver for you or not so I will be posting the review of that ROM tomorrow so wait for that if you want to use this as a daily driver. The next thing is that this ROM requires a lot of uh, files and patches and all and all of them are uh, as a separate separate files so I just thought about you know making it easier for you guys to get all those files I have just downloaded and uploaded all of those files into my telegram channel and the link to that telegram channel is at the down below on the description you can join that telegram channel and I have given the roams all the roams and the files needed uh, for this thing to work is to be has been uploaded into that telegram channel you can download those roams and patch files from that telegram channel which makes it more easy for you and after all if you are a developer and if you didn't like what I do then you can just contact me then I will be removing all those files and has like always I say I don't own any of these files it is me just doing this uh, thing in order to make it easier for you guys to download and install this ROM and I, as I always say all the credit just goes into the developer I don't own any sort of credit for this so I will be skipping some of these steps the first thing is that you have to reboot into your recovery and um, Currently, I will be straightly booting into the Red Wolf re recovery, but uh, if you own a TWRP recovery, then you have to change into the uh, Red Wolf recovery. I won't be showing you that, so always keep in mind you have to do this from the Red Wolf recovery. And the next thing is that if you don't know how to install the Red Wolf recovery, give me uh, that on the comment section I will be posting a video on that also if you know, I don't think anyone needs that so I'm just keeping so currently we are at the Red Wolf recovery go into wipe advanced wipe then you have to wipe dialog cache substrate overlay system data cache and vendor swipe and wipe all of these and now it uh, you have to come back over here then click on the backup and you have to just back up the system only on the only the system for image has to be backed up you can uncheck all others and just check the uh, system and back up the system into your internal storage now the rest has to be continued from the uh, APC so I'll be seeing you after uh, me getting into my PC Ok guys so we are continuing and currently I am at my PC screen so what you see on this left is my PC folder and the right side this thing is the internal storage of my Redmi Note 3 so first what you have to do is this is the main file that is the main ROM and you have to extract that and in order to extract that you have to really use the 7-zip itself because it was uh, compressed using the 7 zip in the format dot 7 z that is not zip so you have to use the 7 zip itself in order to extract that over 7 zip just go to and extract to MIUI click on that and it will take some time to extract because it's nearly a big file and on what you have to do on your uh, internal storage of the uh, phone is that go into the folder known as wolf which will be the folder of the recovery go into the ok so uh, the extraction of the uh, what do you say the ROM is completed which is this file and uh, I actually backed up into my SD card so 
my file is uh, it uh, is at the SD card normally yours will be at the internal storage so I am going into the uh, micro SD of my into, uh, my phone then uh, I am going into the folder known as wolf then we have the folder dot backups then you have the partitions and enter through all those and you will read somewhere like this so from here you have to delete the backup that we just made uh, so the backup I made is these two I will be deleting both of these and after that we will be continuing I will be deleting this one also yes so I have deleted all those uh, backups from here this is my primary ROM backup I am now going to delete that then you have to uh, paste the uh, extracted ROM from your system uh, from your system into the uh, this folder the folder of the recovery we will continue after it copies so the copying of the ROM into my internal storage has been completed now what you have to do is that you have to copy all the patch files uh, on the uh, given links uh, from down below and you have to copy all of them and put it somewhere you like we have to flash all those files I'm just putting on the root of my micro SD card and we are done and there is no more, more need of systems and we will continue with our old setup so with that those steps the need of system is over and there is no more, more of more need of systems and uh, we will continue from the phone from now onwards after you copied all those files you just have to go into the restore on the red, Bo red wolf recovery then you will be able to see this file which is the MIUI Oreo Mi Max port and click on that then we have boot data system everything is under clicked over here just flash those and it will take some time to flash we will continue after the flashing process is over it actually took some time to do all these restoration processes and as the restoration processes are over that means the flashing is over at the current moment we will just hit on the reboot system and hopefully it should reboot into the MIUI 10 Oreo based on the Mi Max Pro which is ported to the Redmi Note 3 let us see does it boot or not and I have to actually see the boot logo of the newer also. We will continue after it boots up. Actually I was quite surprised the booting was such a speed that it didn't take even more than a minute. So I landed on the ROM currently and there are a lot of bugs out here and we have to patch all those using the uh, patches given by the developer I'll be just going into the you know to see all the specs and all so the MIUI version is the 10.8.11 and uh, the android version is of the 8.1 now so uh, we have landed on the room now we have to patch our bugs as you can see these all are currently at bugs what you have to do in order to patch the bugs is that you have to first uh, power off your device and you have to go back into your recovery and you have to patch the first patch file then you have to reboot again back into the ROM itself I will be showing you that so let it power off first then we can reboot into the recovery actually it is taking more time to power off than it, it what it took to boot for the first time yeah so it's off now and we will be booting into the red wolf recovery back I have put all my patch files on the just the on the root of my SD card and yours might be different according to where you copied the files and every patches are ordered with numbers and you have to go through all those orders 
and I'm going to install okay on the micro SD card itself okay that's good first we have to patch the patch 1 MIUI Oreo let it patch the first one okay the patch info that is done uh, what you have to do now is that you have to go into the uh, reboot and reboot back into the room and after rebooting back into the room you have to again come into the recovery itself then install the patch 2 I'll be doing all those and also will be installing the 1080p 60 frames per second Gcam uh, also will be flashed I don't want to show you all those because it's the same steps which is keeping on repeating from here you, you just go into reboot reboot back into your room then again come back over here then the patch the patch 2 file then again go back into the room then continue from what I say so I flashed all the patches and I am back over here if I tap on the camera and all it works fine now if you see there's something missing which is the G apps you know to install the G apps uh, it is also provided within the links uh, you have to go over here and there's a Google installer APK just allow from unknown source then install this what this this does is that it installs all the G apps for your system needed just click on the install and it will download and install all the G apps needed for your system it just requires a Wi-Fi or mobile data in order to do that give the unknown installation option for that also keep on installing all the files that it says to install i am out of two on the six so guys that's it that's all i have uh, all i needed to see and there's one more fix which has to be done which is the manual control of the brightness slider i'll be doing that with the tomorrow's video on the tomorrow video i will be giving you the review of this rom this was just the installation of this rom and thank you guys thank you for watching if you have any doubt on this just leave a comment down below and all these files will be available on my telegram channel as i say all the credits actually goes into the developer i don't own any of this file i just do this in order to make it convenient for you guys to get all those files and the link to my telegram channel will be at the down below just join the telegram channel and download the file that's it it's so simple and thank you guys thank you again for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please try to hit that subscribe button because that gives me more motivation to make videos like this for the redmi note 3 thank you for watching have a nice day